If you guys don't upgrade this on your BMW, it can literally leave you stranded on the side of the road. What is going on YouTube? If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Eamon. And in today's video, I wanna to talk to you about something you should be upgrading in your BMW, especially in your N55 BMW before it is too late. So if you guys are new to the channel, this is my 2015 BMW 435. That of course means it has the N55 engine. That's also my car, the 2017 BMW 330, which has the B48. And that one is not mine. That is a new generation 430, cool car, but not mine. Anyways, these two are mine, and this is the one that I want to specifically talk about. So as much as I love these cars, these cars are known for a few issues, a few things that people will actually upgrade in the cars before they even go bad. For example, the charge pipe. But there is another plastic piece in this car that tends to go wrong that could literally be catastrophic. And I feel like not enough people talk about it. Similar to the charge pipe, that piece is also located inside the engine bay. So let's pop the hood and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So as I was saying before, these cars are known for having their charge pipes blow. So if you guys don't know, that's the charge pipe right over here in the N55. It connects from the throttle body down to the front mount intercooler. So a very common mod is to replace that plastic charge pipe with an aluminum one, which as you guys can see down here, I already did. So as much as it sucks that BMW put a plastic charge pipe in this car when they really shouldn't have because even under stock boost, the charge pipe is known to go. But the good thing is people are aware of it and they do tend to change them out pretty commonly. However, again, like I was saying before, this other piece that I'm talking about, people don't really know about as much. I didn't know about it. And it was a piece that broke on my car. If you guys actually watch my channel, you'll know what it is because I made a video about it. I actually think I made like two or three videos about it. I did repair it but I didn't upgrade it. So I just replaced it with another plastic piece rather than upgrading it to something a little more sturdy. So that same issue that I had before could possibly happen again. So if you guys haven't figured it out by now, the piece that I'm talking about is this little guy right over here, the bleeder screw on this expansion tank. So this expansion tank does hold coolant and basically when it expands and contracts with the different temperatures, it kind of like compensates for that. So that of course means that it does hold coolant. So whenever this screw goes bad and it starts to corrode, you can have coolant lead right out of this thing and it won't just leak it'll literally like spray out of it now sometimes you can't have the screw go bad and it could be more of like a subtle leak that's what happened with me originally and then when i tried to take it off it completely broke or you can just have the whole thing go bad and it'll start spray coolant up here if you guys can see i still have some coolant stains on my car and now i'm not just telling you guys this because this happened to me it also happens to a lot of people so if you guys know slow speed he's also another youtuber he had a bmw 435 he had the same thing go wrong on his car so if you guys have an n55 chances are this will happen to you and the thing is it is such a small problem it's easy to fix, but when it does happen, it could really suck. Obviously, you can lose a whole bunch of coolant, your car can overheat, and you really don't want that. So even if it hasn't gone bad yet, definitely upgrade it in advance. Again, similar to the charge pipe, a lot of people will change them before they even go bad because that can also be catastrophic. I think why not do it for this same little screw here, the charge pipe, you can probably get them for like 200, 300 bucks, and it is an absolute pain to install. Whereas this here, it is super cheap to replace, and it is super, super easy to install, which of course I will show you guys in a minute so now again some additional context if you guys watched that video before not only will this thing break and start spilling coolant the thing about it is when it breaks basically like the top piece of the screw will snap off from the bottom piece and the bottom piece will remain inside the expansion tank thus making it a massive pain to get out because obviously you can't just screw it out anymore this whole piece will be missing so what i had to do was drill it out and you have to be like super careful not to let any plastic go down inside the expansion tank so just avoid the situation in total guys when i did have this go bad obviously as you can tell i still have a plastic screw here that's just because i got like a replacement one for i think like five six bucks off amazon of course this did work and it did resolve my issue however given that the last one broke i figured this time around i should upgrade it to a metal one so i don't have another plastic one going bad on me somewhere down the line so using my trunk sort of as a table here it is guys here is the new bleeder screw nothing crazy obviously it is just a screw but this thing looks so cool it has sort of like this burnt look to it which by the way obviously this is going to upgrade our bleeder screw and make sure that we don't have this issue whether it happened to you already and you just want to replace yours or you want to change this right now to make sure it doesn't happen to you in the future because honestly guys chances are this will happen to you so not only is it an upgrade in terms of reliability it's an upgrade in terms of looks because this thing looks freaking awesome so here it is guys if you can tell it is a performance titanium coolant bleeder screw for bmws now although i'm talking about this on my n55 this does apply for most bmws i believe it's pretty much like the same part number for most cars not just the n55 i even think like the b58 and n20 and all those different cars if you guys do want this screw i did get it from mashi marho so huge shout out to them i will leave a link down in the description below if you guys want it 
Also, if you use my promo code, it will get you an additional 5% off. While you're there, just make sure that this will actually fit your car, but I can tell you for sure if you have an N55, this will fit. So now this being just a screw, it should be very easy to install, but they're actually kind enough to include some instructions. The main one being over here, this warning. So make sure you guys do this on a nice, cool car. So my car has been sitting here. I haven't driven it yet today, so it's nice and cool because if you do it on a hot car, uh, your coolant might, you know, like start spraying up once you take off the previous bleeder screw. So make sure you do this on a cold car. So now to install this, what we're gonna do guys is take a large flathead screwdriver. You can even take like a Phillips head or even a quarter and we're just gonna unscrew this original bleeder screw. Now, if yours already broke and you're missing this top piece here, try drilling it out, but just try not to get anything to fall inside the expansion tank. But if you're doing this ahead of time and you still have your original bleeder screw still intact, this is gonna be much, much easier. But with that said, I got the widest flathead I possibly could. So we're just gonna unscrew this a little bit and I'll probably do the rest with my hand. Yeah, here it is guys. Here is the original bleeder screw, again, completely made out of plastic. Now, as you can tell, there is an O-ring. When you're taking it off, make sure the O-ring comes with it. Do not leave it left behind over here. You don't have to worry about reusing that same O-ring because the new one does come with one. Anyways, obviously guys, this is literally just a screw. All we're gonna do now is hand thread it as much as we possibly can. You don't wanna cross thread this, so just start off with your hand and do as much as you can. And then at that point, you can take your four millimeter Allen, and you can just start tightening it up the rest of the way. You don't have to go like super, super tight, just until the O-ring is pretty much sitting flush, just like that, and I think I'm pretty much good. Also, being that now your bleeder screw is tightened and loosened with a specific four millimeter Allen, or as before, trying to fit like a flat head in that large space, and you know, it's like worrying that you're gonna mess it up or something like that. This is just more accurate. I think that's the best way to put it. And yeah, that's literally it, guys. Just like that, it's replaced. You don't have to worry about your original bleeder screw cracking, breaking, and leaking coolant everywhere. It sucks that this happened to me once already, but it's definitely not gonna happen to me again with this titanium screw. So honestly, guys, if you haven't changed this already, definitely do it. It's something I feel like no one talks about on these cars, at least not from what I've seen or heard. Like I've maybe seen it once or twice, but I feel like people always, always talk about the charge pipe, but they never talk about this simple screw. And again, guys, not only is it gonna make your car more reliable, cause you don't have to worry about that issue anymore. It also looks really cool with that burnt titanium look. I know it is a small piece, but I still think it looks really good, especially if you care about the details. I do need to give this engine bay a nice detail. And I also wanna get the golden wrench expansion tank cap, which is gonna basically match the oil cap over there. So I think that cap with this screw both together are gonna look really good. So it's kind of like a two for one. You make your engine bay look a little cooler and you make your car a lot more reliable. Again, guys, if you haven't changed this on your N55 or pretty much any BMW engine already, definitely think about it because I can almost guarantee you this will go bad. It did on my car and a whole bunch of my friend's cars as well. And it's such a silly thing. It's just a small plastic screw, but it can cause you to lose coolant making your car overheat. And again, just kind of causing a bad day. So just be ahead of the curve, change it in advance, change it before it happens, change it if it already went bad on you. And instead of getting a plastic one, get a metal one so it doesn't happen again. Again, huge shout out to Mashi Marho for sending this out to me. If you guys do want it, links down in the description below. And don't forget to use my promo code AMAN at checkout to get an additional 5% off for the screw and pretty much anything else in their store as well. Like if you guys still need to upgrade your charge pipe, uh, you know, feel free to get it from them and use my promo code for that as well. But with that said, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. So if you found it entertaining or helpful, drop me a like, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.